Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I do have an Ask Elmo video for you today. He's in New Mexico. He's at the Department of Corrections. Um, clearly he misses living in prison because he's trying to get back inside so desperately. Enjoy the video. Okay, so I will let you know that in the beginning here when he's talking to the group of people, there are quite a few cutscenes on his part, not on mine. Not sure why. Usually if he does that, it's because they're telling him stuff that he doesn't want the camera to catch. So he cuts it out. Just letting you know that these cutscenes at the beginning are by him and not me. What's going on, folks? Auditing America. I'm at the Santa Fe County Adult Detention Facility. We're going to see if they respect our First Amendment right to video record over here in New Mexico. Find Auditing America on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all the platforms. Camera is prohibited. Is that like a law? Okay, how many signs do you need to say cameras prohibited before you walk on the property with a phone filming? I mean, that that sign could have come out and slapped him in the face and he still would ignore it. I'm surprised he can read, honestly. Is that like a law? Please. Why? I'm a journalist. I'm asking you. I came here to do a video about the Department of Corrections and to request some uh, public records. Do you have an ID on you? Am I being detained? I'm asking you for an ID. Am I being detained? You're on. You're on. You are on. Listen, uh, you guys topic. need ID. You have. Yeah. You don't. You have regular clothes. Can yeah. you have some respect? Can you talk respect now? No, you're not and being respectful. You're not letting us talk. All right, so what I'm telling you speak. right now, this is private property. It is public property. And Okay, first of all, if you want respect, you need to give it. You have come to their place of employment while they're working, and you are causing them to stop working to come out and deal with a man-child who's walking around looking like a bum who just woke up behind a dumpster at Walmart. Like, come on. Respect works two ways. You walked onto their place of employment. Why don't you respect them a little bit? And you might get some respect back. But then you wouldn't get all the clicks and views on your videos if you did that. Because we all know he only records for one reason only. To get some kind of disturbance so that he will get the clicks and views. Because without it, nobody will watch his shit. His channel is already dying and he knows that. That's why he's becoming more unhinged and more erratic every time we see one of his videos. He knows he has to create a disturbance to create a halfway decent video. But as long as his face and his voice is in it, the video is always going to be shit. And he's, you're not a journalist. You're not doing a story. Okay. Where do you get that? Where do you get that? This is that the, depart the Department of Corrections is private. Pro I know. I am. I am. It's for my safety. All right. I don't know you guys. I'm glad to please stand this outside. This is open. Who are you? Please stand outside. I'm, I'm not refusing. I'm nicely declining okay. to do no, that. Do you have a name? Of course, we all have a name. What is your name, sir? What is your name? You guys are all giving me unlawful information. You don't own this property. No, you answer questions. That's why you guys have lawsuits on civil rights. Right? The Department of Corrections has lawsuits on civil rights violations. And you guys are... Oh, my God. Well, first of all, you're on their property where they work. You. You walked your bum-looking ass... In, onto the property where they work. They don't owe you anything. Not a damn thing. Absolutely nothing. You are not special. You are a nobody. And you're not important. You're barely worth a damn thing. I, I don't know why you keep putting them down. 
when they're the ones who are working, not you, them. They are productive members of society. They actually have worth within society. You do not. Making a big deal out of this. Is that what you're going to do? Is that what you're going to do? Is that police? Can we, can we, can, can we have some, some, some human decency here? <laughs> Are you a cop? Oh I'm just waiting for my ride, bro. He sounds like a five-year-old. A five-year-old. Is that police? Can we have some human decency? What's your name? What's your badge number? Is that a cop? Is that a bird? Is that a tree? Is that grass? Oh my God. He's like a five-year-old on crack. It's insane the way he behaves. His mother's got to be embarrassed by him. Like, I don't know any parent who would not be embarrassed by him. And he puts himself on the internet so that the whole world can see him and know that somewhere in the world, he has a mother who raised that. There you go. That's public record. So if you're taking a picture of me with your personal phone, do not delete it because we will be requesting that. So just know that you can't take pictures with your personal phone. You guys want to, you guys want to say all these, all these things like this place is, is private. All right. Just know that you work for us. We don't work for you. Your tax, your, your ch paychecks, what you eat every day at home comes be from our funds. Okay. Just know. You barely got that out of your mouth, Asomo. I mean, my God, how much did you practice saying that? Um, first of all, you're not a resident of New Mexico. Nothing you do or pay for funds anything in that state. Number two, you don't pay taxes anyway. So even back home, you don't pay for a damn bit of anybody's salary. Nothing. Nothing. And let's say you did pay taxes. I've done the mathematics on this. Every single person that does pay taxes and their taxes fund an officer's paycheck, what you've paid into it is equivalent to $1 a year. $1. And I really wish that when one of these frauditors would actually say the same bullshit to an officer, that the officer will just pull out a dollar and say, here you go. There's your taxes back. You didn't pay me shit this year. But we've got people like Ass Elmo and most of these frauditors who don't work anyways and don't pay taxes, even if they do work. Or they claim they pay taxes with their YouTube channel, but um, I know that he doesn't pay taxes at all. Then, yeah, what, you didn't put in anything. And they work for society. They don't work for you or the next person or the next person as an individual. They work for all of society. And they also pay taxes. They pay more taxes and they put more into their paychecks than you do, as Elmo. Think on that one for a moment. That we give you the privilege to, to work here. This is not private property. I don't even, you've never identified yourself. And you want my ID? You guys are unprofessional. Are you a police officer? No. How you doing? Are you a sheriff? Hey, doing? I'm Captain Rodriguez. What can I help you with? Lieutenant. Cap Captain. Oh, nice to meet you. What's up? What can I help you with? Is this all because of a guy with a camera? No, I was just wondering what you're doing looking inside his truck. It's public It's public property, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm asking you a question. I just told you, it's public property. I, I, I have the right to look at yes, it, right? Yes, you do. I'm just asking you what you're doing here. Okay, what are you doing here? I'm asking you a question. That's what I already answered. Okay. Why are you looking at me like I'm that? I'm just asking don't, you don't, don't touch me. Hey, just don't, don't touch me. Look at me. Why, why, why? I'm not, I have no ill will, by the way. So calm down. Calm down. Well, it's just a guy with a camera. Why you're looking yeah, you, just, you have to de-escalate. You're actually looking at a I was. I'm not. A, no, no, in a private citizen's car. That's fine. You want to look at our stuff. But what are you doing looking at a private citizen's I car? I could do that too, right? It's no. public. We're in a public place. Yes. 
people have a right I'm to not, their privacy inside their vehicle. No, they, no right I, I can't go in there. That's called yeah. suspicious activity. Just, that's well, how, 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 am I breaking the law by video recording? You can no. record all you want. Okay, there just you go. asking what you're up to, that's it. Okay, but, but why yourself. did you try to like go around just and... Just checking you your safety of mine. Yeah. See if you have any weapons on you. You're, I have that right too. You're the, you're the one that's got a weapon. I'm just checking you. So, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. You're the stranger that shows up with a gun... And you uh, are. We're at our I just met you. I just met you. You came to our place with employees. This is. This is. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I know. Absolutely. You came to their place of employment. They didn't go to your place of employment, which would be impossible because you are not employed. But you show up at their place of employment, and then you make demands that they're supposed to cater to your bum-looking ass. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Not gonna work. You came to their place of employment, which, by the way, is a non-public forum. This is a corrections department. This is not some place you just walk in and have the run of the mill on it. No. Department of Corrections. It, it's kind. It's. I have it. I will show it. But it's run like private property. They are tenants. The people that own the actual building set the policies and they have every right to refuse you service and tell you to leave. You have no official business there whatsoever at all. You can't do any kind of records request inside of a corrections facility. You can't do a records request. You can't do a FOIA. They're going to tell you to go somewhere else for that. So why are you actually there? To create a disturbance, of course. But you came to their place of employment. It's not about the fact that you are filming. It's the fact that you're some weird, bum-looking person looking in private vehicles. That is 100% suspicious activity. They have every right to come out and question you on that. It's their job. But you wouldn't know that because <laughs> you've never worked a job. For a fact, where I'm at, this is a public place. So I'm not in private sure property. My employees are safe. Exactly. Because this is, you guys are our employees. I'm making sure my employees are no, safe. No, 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 no. You don't I understand. I have the right to ask you. And, you I, and, and I have the right okay. to refuse. Oh, they have the right to. They are not your employees. And they have every right to refuse you service and tell you to leave. And if you don't leave, yes, they will trespass you and they will arrest you. Ask Elmo, if you really want to go back to prison that bad, keep this shit up, please, because you're going to end up right back in there. I hope. I, I, your business no, I am. I have, bu- I have business here. I am close, so you don't have no business. You're close, so why are you work? Why, why are you, uh, why are you contacting me if you're, if you're close? Because I work 24 hours a day. Okay, so you're not close. Our civilian staff doesn't. What's your okay. name and batch number? Captain Jose Rodriguez. I'm the only one here. What's the Third Amendment? Huh? I was getting I'm information on the Third Amendment. I'm, I gave you my information. No, I'm talking about the Third Amendment. Okay. Do you know it? I'm not going to go into that with Greg. Okay, so I have finally determined why. Or determined. I have finally figured it out why Ask Elmo is constantly asking police officers if they know the Third Amendment. Because he knows it's an irrelevant amendment. It hasn't been used in forever. He knows that it doesn't apply to police officers. Even though they took an oath, they learned the amendments, they learned the Constitution, No, none of them are really going to memorize the Third Amendment. It's irrelevant to them. So in Aselmo's mind, if he asks them, do you know the Third Amendment? They're going to think, oh, wow, this guy must be pretty intelligent if he knows what the Third Amendment is. Like, I didn't bother memorizing it because it's an irrelevant amendment and does not mean anything to me, especially, well, since nothing like that is happening right now. He thinks that by asking them about this amendment that they're going to think that he is educated and intelligent. Honestly, Aselmo, it's just making you look more stupid than you already looked before you asked the question. Have a nice day. All right. 
You see how you guys react just to a guy with a camera? This lady was looking at me like she's never seen a guy with a camera before. I do. I do. They're public employees. Don't worry about them. They're going home for the day. That's fine. Good. Maybe they they should work somewhere else because we have we have you know we can't you can't be acting this way. No, they're off and going home and getting in their car to leave. You have every right to be suspicious. All right, you're all right. You're uh, this is not suspicious. You're dismissed, sir. Have a nice day. Then. Uh, have a nice day. You're dismissed. So are you. Oh. Uh, you don't dismiss me. Wait a minute. So now he's actually saying these people have just finished their day at work and they're going home, and he's saying that they need to find another place to work. Why did they say anything about you because she looked at you like? She gave you a weird look or something, and she needs to find another place to work? Work advice from somebody who's unemployable and has never worked a day in his life because he's lazy and he's a bum. Oh, and he's unemployable because of his criminal record. Now watch, this wasn't good enough for him. So he's got to follow this captain because he wants to instigate more of a reaction because that wasn't enough reaction for him. So now he's got to follow him and instigate him. All because guys with cameras. That's the walk of shame. Go home. No, you go home. I'm trying. Go ahead. We're going to give you the rest of the day off. How's that? And we'll let you go home with a warning. Okay, so for everybody out there who has a job who actually walks into a building to get to their job, SMO considers that the walk of shame. So SMO considers anybody who is employed does the walk of shame when they go to work. I mean, it makes sense since he doesn't bother getting a job because he thinks he's too good to get a job. He thinks he's above everybody else. He doesn't need a job. He's too good for that. No, no, no. He would rather go around with his phone recording and instigating disturbances because he's too lazy to go and get an actual job. That's him. The captain, huh? Have a good day. You too. the New Mexico Corrections Department where people have no rights. Well, I mean, yeah. This is the Central Administration and Training Academy, but technically when you enter into the corrections facilities, pretty much most of your rights are taken, dumbass, and you should know that. You've spent plenty of time in prison. So first of all, I would like to point out that when it comes to the New Mexico Corrections Department, 
Aselmo is wrong. He cannot just walk up on the property and start filming, recording, whatever the hell he wants. They actually have something that he has to go through. Since he wants to claim he's a member of the media, then he has to go through the public relations office to get permission as a member of the media, since that's what he wants to call himself. So in New Mexico, to film on the, on the property of the Department of Corrections, the Public Relations Office is dedicated to providing a transparent view of the department as we strive to be honest and open as we interact with members of the media and the general public. Our office will provide timely and accurate information when responding to inquiries and will provide appropriate access to our employees, facilities, policies, and those entrusted to our care. They even have right here media inquiries. If you are a member of the media, we all know he's not, but he wants to claim he is, and have questions about our department or its employees, please send an email to, and he gives the email address. All inquiries are always welcome. All New Mexico Corrections Department's employee interviews must be coordinated through the Public Affairs Office. Since he wants to go on their property and record and have conversations with the employees of the Department of Corrections, he needs to first go through the Public Affairs Office. Other than that, they can trespass him, and if he doesn't leave, they can have him arrested. Good luck with that, S. Elmo. So here's a fun one for you, Ass Elmo. Since you wanted to go ahead and claim that, you know, you own the building and they're, you're their boss and blah, blah, blah. Public buildings don't belong to individual members of the public. Just as public employees don't work for any individual taxpayer. No matter how often a taxpayer tells an employee, I pay your salary. Public buildings don't belong to any individual member of the public. Therefore, government buildings are property of another for purposes of the trespass laws. As one Texas court put it, in a case involving public grounds, the state satisfies the burden of, the, of another element of the criminal trespass statute by proving beyond a reasonable doubt that the complaint has a greater right of possession of the property than does the accused. Sorry to burst your bubble. So there we have it. Ask Elmo acting like he is better than people who actually have a job and running his mouth about anything that he doesn't understand. It's typical for Ask Elmo. It's literally his MO since the very beginning. He's never done these videos for fighting for rights or being a freedom fighter or anything like that. He's 100% against police because they caught him and arrested him for all his criminal activity and they continue to do so. And instead of taking accountability for his own actions and behavior, he just feels like it's easier to blame the police and people will buy it. And unfortunately, there's a lot of idiots out there that listen to Ass Elmo, believe Ass Elmo, and pretty much adore him, which, again, I don't know why anybody would, but, yeah, there's just a lot of idiots in this world. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Be safe. I love each and every one of you.